Osh Gardenis, welcome. Army recognition team is in Istanbul, Turkey this week for the third high tech port aviation and defense exhibition. iTech Port is the exhibition for iTech strategic and advanced technologies held under the auspices of President Erdogan and in cooperation with the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Defense. This exhibition brings together military and civil delegations from the defense and aviation industries with prominent industry representatives. On day one of iTech Port, Turkish President Erdogan and the Katmer Siller Company unveiled his ear a new 4x4 tactical wheeled armored vehicle. Uh, this is Hızır, and this is the first show of Hızır. First, I would like to express what, what does Hızır means. Hızır is a uh, people, person, who goes and saves people. So we put Hızır name on our uh, APC. This is the strongest APC in this segment in Turkey now. So we are the latest one who published that APC. So we use this advantage to make a much stronger and much tougher APC. This is fully monocoque and V-hull, uh, independent suspension. We use Cummins engine and Exeltec, Exels and Ellison transmission. We consider that this is going to save people, so we do our best. complete internal project. The FNSS has uh, made this co concept with it all, uh, independent from the, any uh, customer right now. But basically, uh, our target is, as you know, uh, Turkish land forces and Turkish land forces requirements. Uh, the FNSS is always spends a some amount of uh, budget uh, for the new generation's vehicle uh, before the con any construct. Uh, in this project, our target is to make some improvements in uh, mobility, in protection, in uh, modular design, and also in the firepower. In Turkish land forces, uh, always looking for the amphibious vehicle. If you look at this type of vehicle on the market, they don't have any amphibious capabilities because of the requirement. But in Turkey, in the land forces requirement, always says that we need the amphibious functions with the protections also. At that point, uh, you have to make uh, some additional features. You have to add the vehicle to get these functions with the uh, protection level, you know. Of course, there are some limitations on the, this design, but uh, in these configurations, that uh, there is a certain level of modular armor concepts are using, ballistic protection is also available on the vehicle, and also amphibious operation is better than the, our first design. It means that we are using the, some additional uh, water propulsion systems using in the rear sections. So it means that uh, you can you have a more maneuverability in the water. We have uh, these type of systems. We call it the see-through armor. Commander using the, uh, the systems, what will happen beyond the armor because everywhere is closed, and then commander needs to make a right decisions to, to survive. And then additional information is coming from the command center, and we attach this information in the real view. So when this system is uh, sensitive to your commander hat, then the commander had uh, changed your hat and eyes positions. Uh, directly, right view is uh, appear in front of the glass and with their uh, uh, battle management system information. Uh, Altai program is, uh, you know, that the project started by 2009 and the project has two phases. One is the development and qualification, the other one is the serial production. The development started with the concept studies, the prototype production and testing. Now we are at the final, final stage of the uh, phase one, which is the 
uh, finishing of the uh, qualification testings. Uh, most of the tests, I can say 95%, uh, finalized until today. Uh, most probably by mid-November, we will be doing the acceptance uh, of the prototypes uh, with the Army and the uh, under Secretary of Defense Industries. All tests are proved to be uh, all acceptable uh, and all type proved to be a good, modern and capable tank with a high performance. We had completed nearly 10,000 kilometers all ge geographies in Turkey. We fired more than 4,000 rounds. Uh, Altai as a complete system uh, uses all NATO standards by the concept and all uh, the, uh, existing NATO uh, concepts. So it's a four-man tank where the turret encloses three people, three-man crew. Uh, uh, it is a loader, commander and a, a gunner.